Brush lag can literally hold your digital art back. If you're sick of waiting for your brush cursor to catch up to your pen, you need to watch this video, because I will show you some ways to reduce or eliminate brush lag in any art app. Brush lag is one of the most common challenges a digital artist might face. Unlike a traditional brush stroke that happens in real time, a digital stroke has to be processed as information before it can be rendered on the screen. From the input of your drawing tablet to the brush properties and canvas dimensions, all of this requires a massive amount of computing power. Digital art brushes are primarily accelerated by your CPU. If you have a slow CPU with only a couple of cores, your brushes will be slow to process. Whereas if you have a fast CPU with a lot of cores, then your brushes will perform much faster. It's becoming more common to see our applications take advantage of the GPU to accelerate brushes. Though in many cases, the CPU may do a better job at accelerating brushes, so the GPU is not utilized. But in general, brushes that can use the GPU perform a bit faster than without it. Corel Painter is one example of an application that supports GPU acceleration. However, the brushes that can support the GPU are fairly basic. If your hardware is on the older side, then upgrading to a more powerful computer is the best thing you can do to reduce brush lag. I have an article on my website that explains how to select computer components for digital art if you want to learn more about that. If you've been at digital art for a while, you might expect that by now a fairly high-end computer and powerful GPU would be enough to make brush lag a thing of the past. But every time I upgrade my computer, I still seem to experience some degree of lag when I paint. So why is that? It's because software grows in complexity at a faster rate than hardware. Therefore, hardware is always going to have to catch up to what the software can produce. Software is simply instructions. I can tell myself to leap 50 feet into the air, but my hardware isn't capable of that. Yet. And software is less expensive and more convenient to upgrade compared to hardware. In fact, top-of-the-line hardware is almost always way outside of most people's budget, and by the time you can afford it, it's obsolete. To give you an example, I can use my modern computer to perform all sorts of tasks that were agonizingly slow in the 90s. I distinctly remember waiting long periods of time for flood fills to complete. Now I can fill with a gradient like it's nothing. And I can paint on a canvas that is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels wide without my computer exploding. If you're just using very basic stamp-based brushes that don't do more than change in size and opacity, then brush lag might not be an issue for you. But if you're like me, and you like to push the limits of what you can achieve with a digital medium, then it feels like you're constantly up to your eyeballs with lag. So let's take a look at some of the causes of lag and some ways to prevent it. Even with brush acceleration, there are certain brush properties that will cause your brush to lag behind your cursor. The most common property that causes lag is spacing. Spacing controls the distance between dabs. By overlapping these dabs, it creates the illusion of a continuous stroke. If spacing is set too low, the brush will be creating unnecessary dabs in each stroke. Each dab consumes your computer resources, so only use as much spacing as you really need. In general, large brushes need higher spacing, and small brushes require lower spacing. The lowest spacing value is usually too low, and will almost always cause lag, so it may take some experimenting to see what spacing value performs well and still looks good. If spacing is too high, it can make your strokes look jagged and unnatural. It's not uncommon to find brush engines that do not repeat dabs to create strokes, some art applications have proprietary brushes that generate strokes in unique ways. For example, the particle brushes in Corel Painter. These brushes still experience lag, but it's due to a different set of brush properties. Another example of a property that may cause lag is the scatter property in Photoshop. When I scatter the dabs, that's more information that needs to be processed. And even worse, when I increase the count, I generate multiple overlapping strokes at once, which requires a massive quantity of dabs to be deposited. This setting adds a ton of lag. So just like with spacing, you only want to use as much of any one property as is necessary to avoid wasting computer resources. In Corel Painter, you can control how many features are in a brush. 
This allows you to change the number of bristles in a dab. The more features you add, the more dabs need to be generated. So I think you get the point. More dabs, more lag. A short brush stroke may only create a dozen dabs, which might not be enough to overwhelm your computer and introduce lag. But once you make a longer stroke, lag may begin to creep in because more dabs are being generated. If you keep painting, the previous dabs will not be able to finish processing, so the stroke will not create any new dabs until your computer can catch up with a tablet input. If you're having this problem, try making shorter strokes and lift your pen up more frequently. The velocity of the stroke also contributes to the perception of lag because the pen input happens in real time, whereas the dabs render at a much slower rate. You will notice this type of lag the most on display tablets because you can see your pen tip next to the cursor. Hiding or minimizing the brush cursor can make strokes feel less laggy, but it does not actually improve their performance. But it's not only the quantity of dabs that causes lag, the size of the dabs also plays a role. Larger dabs require more of the canvas to be covered, which greatly impacts performance. The larger brushes get, the more demanding they are on your hardware. So using smaller brushes can help to reduce lag. Brush lag is compounded when you paint on a large canvas. This is because brushes need to be larger and strokes need to be longer to cover a larger canvas. This requires many, many more dabs to be generated. If I paint a long stroke, you can see that there is a ton of lag. I've already physically completed my stroke, and I'll have to sit and wait for my computer to catch up. I can, of course, paint on a smaller canvas, but then my artwork is going to be limited to a small size or a low resolution. One solution to this problem is to start your painting as large as possible without creating too much lag. Then use AI to upscale your work once you have finished painting with large brushes. Then you can use smaller brushes to add the fine details and finishing touches. Adobe Super Resolution and the NanoPixel Export and Rebel 5 Pro are two examples of software that can do that. Check out my videos on those subjects if you'd like to learn more. Using too many brush properties can also introduce lag. If your brush has settings enabled that aren't necessary, remove them. For example, does the brush need texture? Does it need to blend colors? If not, disable those properties. The less you ask of a brush, the faster it will be able to perform. Brush stabilization, or smoothing as it's sometimes known, is a brush property that adds lag to your strokes to make them feel more stable or to simulate friction. This property will always make your brushes feel slow. So if you don't need your brush to be stable, then disable stabilization to ensure that it's not interfering with performance. Another reason why brushes may perform slowly is because you may be using sophisticated brushes that require a lot of processing power. For instance, I'm going to select Corel Painter's Heavy Loaded Thick Paint Brush, which creates paint with depth and lighting. And if I paint small strokes, there won't be very much lag because only a few dabs are being generated. But if I make a really long stroke, many more dabs are being generated, and my system is quickly overrun, causing the brush to slow down to a crawl. This is not a flaw in Corel Painter. I actually like that the brushes are so advanced. It's my computer that is the bottleneck here. And just for reference, I'm using a 12-core Ryzen 9 build with 64 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1080 GPU, which isn't exactly a slow computer. Unfortunately, advanced brushes like this are going to be laggy no matter what, because they're so processor intensive. When people complain that an advanced art application like Corel Painter or Rebel is slower than a more basic one like Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint, they are missing the fact that Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint are lifting 10 pound weights, while Corel Painter and Rebel are lifting 500 pound weights. Think about it. Not only is this brush generating multiple dabs and multiple strokes at once, but it's also blending, smudging, interacting with texture, simulating paint depth, simulating lighting, and detecting the pressure and tilt input from my drawing tablet. And if you look at the sheer number of properties affecting this brush, it's impressive that traditional art can be simulated to this level of detail. And all of this processing must happen for each dab in a stroke. So while I am currently experiencing a lot of lag with this brush, this technology would be impossible to use on a computer from 10 years ago. And in 10 years from now, this brush in this version of the software will probably perform lag-free on a quantum computer. But then there will be some hyper-realistic art software that makes even that computer feel sluggish. 
So it goes to show that lag is not something you can eliminate from your life entirely if you want to create cutting edge art. Even Photoshop will get laggy if you load up a brush with too many properties. I can't even get close to making a brush like I can in Corel Painter or Rebel, but I can get just as much lag if I load up on properties. In particular, the mixer brush slows down a lot when sampling from multiple layers. The best way to avoid lag caused by sophisticated brushes is to not use them. If you aren't interested in anything fancy, it's okay to work in a basic art app or just avoid complex brushes. Or if you do like those advanced features, work with an older version of your software and don't upgrade immediately. The next frontier of digital art is shaping up to be realistic simulations of media and tools. For example, Rebel 5 Pro has the best watercolor simulation on the market. You can watch the paint drip, even on a microscopic level. It's really amazing and feels very natural to work with. However, this comes at the expense of consuming a lot of your computer resources. And it's not just that the brush dabs are power hungry. The paint continues to drip and flow across the canvas until it eventually settles. And although I can continue adding paint and even control the flow interactively, in the background, this simulation is eating up a lot of my resources, which only amplifies the lag. If I do not wait for the paint to finish its simulation, then each additional brush stroke is going to add to the processing queue, making the lag even more severe. So again, this is not a cause of lag that can be easily avoided. Simulations like this are going to substantially impact your painting performance. In the case of Rebel 5 Pro, a solution is to start your painting small so that the simulation doesn't require as long to complete. Then use NanoPixel Export to upscale your artwork and add the finishing touches with smaller brushes. Corel Painter also simulates watercolor, though not quite as well as Rebel. You can improve brush performance by pausing the diffusion process. Then when you are finished making the strokes, unpause it. Yet another reason brushes may perform slowly is because your document is using up a lot of your computer resources. Each time you add a new layer, paint a stroke, create a new document, or copy something into memory, you are using up resources. If you have a lot of layers in your composition, your undo limit is set really high, and you have several documents open at the same time, you can expect performance to take a hit. You can try simplifying your composition by merging layers, to make it less demanding on your system. Another possibility is that the lag is being caused by incorrect settings in your art software. For example, maybe there is an option to choose how much of your CPU and RAM are available to your art application, and that is set too low. In the case of Corel Painter, there is an option to choose which GPU I'd like to use. If your computer has an onboard GPU, it could be that the wrong GPU is selected, and that is causing lag. And the final factor that may be causing your brushes to lag is that you may be using up computer resources with other applications. At a minimum, your operating system and art application will use up some resources, but if you're making art while also recording your screen, listening to music, installing updates or browsing the web, those applications are going to impact the performance of your brushes. Close any applications that are not essential when you're working on art. So as we have learned, Brush lag can be reduced and sometimes even eliminated, but not in the case of advanced brush technologies that push the limits of computer hardware. And ultimately, that's a good thing. It means digital art will keep getting better. I mean, look at how far it's come since the 1980s. I can only imagine how sophisticated digital art will be in another 40 years. If there are any traditional artists watching who are wondering why we're even bothering with digital art at all, Think about it this way, all that time wasted waiting for my paint to catch up with my brush is no less unpleasant or disruptive than the time wasted waiting for paint to dry. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out some of my digital art tutorials and drawing tablet reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.